When you're studying a film, it's always a good idea to have a full version of the script if you can get it. So first of all, we're going to get what we call an SRT file from opensubtitles.org forward slash FR. There are other languages, so you can get um, subtitles for films of all different target languages. So we're looking for Le Petit Nicolas, the subtitles to go with that. We're having a search, and here we are. We then can download the SRT file. Notice the flag denoting which language. We'll save the resulting file, which is a zip file, and paste it into a folder here. Then we'll need to extract it and we can see the SRT file with the extension .srt. Then using the excellent little program Subtitle Edit 3 we can open that file, we browse to the desktop, Le Petit Nicolas, there we have it, and here we have complete with all the stuff we don't want, which is the timings to be synchronised with the DVD. So if we go to Format, we can convert to the version in CSV file, common separated values. We can then select all that text with Control A and do Control C to copy it. Then if we open an Excel file, we can drop the text into there. Notice it's here. You can see all the text down there in column D. Now we can just get rid of those three columns that we don't want. And then if we add a column to the left, we can then create a column where as we follow the film through and transcribe and correct the um, subtitles, we can put in the names of the characters. So for instance, I would normally put MX, PX, SX or whatever it is and do a search and replace at the end so that I'm not typing out laboriously the full names of the characters. <clears throat> so the key is then to watch the film, stopping it where appropriate and adding the actual uh, text as it's said. So uh, quite a laborious exercise but you may just want, especially if you're using it for younger children, to do certain parts of the film. So you can give them exactly what they hear which might be important from the language point of view.